Do you feel as bad as you look? Oh, worse. But, you know, thanks for the compliment. Are you going to your support group this morning? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Right. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right, listen to me. Mm. Come here. OK. Like I said last night, I can't fight for our relationship and the factory. Someone's got to give, so... Later on today, that factory's gonna be gone. How am I worth it? Simon hates me. Simon loves you. Yeah, right. We'll get that sorted soon enough. I promise. All right? But let's just get through today and... then we can start getting the rest of our life back on track, can't we? Thank God for Jenny, eh? Yeah, speaking of which, she wants to see me. It's gonna be all right, you know? I don't know why you think so much of me. Because I believe in you, Peter <laughs> Barlow. And what's more, I believe in us. I wouldn't be selling my factory otherwise, would I? First day of the rest of our lives. First day of the rest of our lives. Good boy. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, go on. We can have a nice spot of lunch together in town, do some shopping, get our nails done. Not that we're stereotypes or anything. I think it sounds lovely. No, to be honest, I don't think I'd be that hungry anyway. Well, you got to eat. Actually, if you're anything like me, you forget food when you're upset. I'm all right. Been having some thoughts. Oh, first time for everything. About the pub. If you think I'm going to take you seriously, you've got another thing coming. Well, you should know by now not to argue with Stella, Carl. Hello. We'll see Rose about that. <laughs> Will you... Bit done. Girls are told now for stage two. You haven't. What? Oh. You have. Why are you talking Thank in riddles? Thank you. Thanks a lot. <sighs> Look, I had an argument with Deirdre. She was out of order. Oh, I can't imagine why. And to top it all off, you listen to this, right? You're not going to believe this. The gambling commission are trying to take me license of me because apparently I don't know how to run my own business. And what the flaming hell is that supposed to mean? You know what it means. Yeah, well, don't mean I can't be act off about it. I can't deal with this, Carl. I can't. This is just doing me head in. OK. It's all right. OK? <sighs> now, listen. What we'll do is we'll just get through today and we'll start afresh tomorrow. All right? Yeah, OK. And when you sign them papers this afternoon, I want to come with you. No, no, I come Peter, with you. you're drunk. I'll go on my own. Sorry, I couldn't pick you up. That's fine. My car's been in for a service. Oh, right. Oh, here we go. Showtime. Shall we just get this over and done with it? I thought you might have arrived mob handed. <laughs> Apparently, I did. You all right? I believe we have a deal to sign. Hey, she wants to talk to him, not a glamorous assistant. Lovely to see you, too. Yeah, let's just not bother with the pleasantries, eh? Whatever Lola wants. Hey, her name's not Lola, all right? Just need your autograph here and um, here. Oh. Well, if he's not going <sighs> Pleasure doing business with you. I've hated every minute of it. And you've hated me every minute. But still, you shot off me now, aren't you? And see this? It's officially a smile. Carla! Carla! What's wrong? 
Oh, you're all right. Now, don't sign the papers. She already has. Oh, you're vile, Frank Foster, vile. I signed them because I want red. Anyway, you didn't know what I've got up my sleeve. Oh, I'm sure he's fascinated. There's something you need to know. No, there's something he needs to know, actually. You see, Frank, I've won. Have you? Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something else. I am so going to stick it to you where it hurts, because with this money, I'm setting up my own rival factory. Sorry, it's just going to take longer. Why don't you got... wipe that false smile off your face? You know, I've got one glitter in order to kick it all off with. I don't think you have, darling. I know you haven't. Don't spoil it for me. What's going on? Have you met my new partner? Oh, hi, Carla. I think you'll find that there is no order. No. The icing on the cake? Underworld is mine. And we'll be back in Coronation Street in half an hour. You made me an offer I couldn't refuse. How could you do this? Sorry. Anne only told me about Jenny you, yesterday, Carla. You gave birth to that monster. First he raped her and then he takes oh, everything else oh, oh, you've got away from her. We don't take lessons of morality from alcoholic adulterers. How are you getting on with the gambling commission? It's amazing how much damage you can cause from one little phone call. No, Peter! Oh, Peter. Peter. I've signed already. There's nothing we can do. He can let me kick his face in. No. Carla, take him home. Give him another drink. Please stop it. Stop it. OK, let's just go. Come on, let's go. Go. Oh. Really Ooh, sticks and stones. <sighs> Sally, I don't think I would have got through this nightmare if it wasn't for you. So thank you. But it was never going to last, was it? Oh, I cared about you. I know. I made sacrifices for you. I put my neck on the line for you. Peter's right, you're a monster. In life, there are winners and there are losers. At least for a short time, you were a winner. <sighs> Do us a favour, Michelle, take her home. She's upsetting me, Mum. Go on, sorry, love. To the woman. I thought I did too. So there's no contract, there's no nothing. He gets the factory and you get nothing. I you do get know nothing. what just happened, Peter. Do you know what? He's not going to get away with this. You should have let me hit him, Carla. That's what you Peter, he has got away with me. You just He's shot got away for five with minutes, yes. please. For now. Everything you are saying for is now. making it worse. Where did you get that? Don't lecture me. Call me later. Leanne! What? I thought you might like to know. The factory is all mine. Carla Connor is finished. Well, to be honest with you, I couldn't care less. Oh, well, you might care about this. Peter's back on the booze again. Big time. No, he wouldn't. Well, you'd have to take my word for it. Ask Deirdre. Leanne, me and you were victims. I don't care about Peter or Carla, but Simon. Simon, none of this is his fault. Anyway, I thought you should know. Hey! How did I not see it? Hey, at least you got the cash, eh? Hey? Oh, yeah. Less than half of what it's worth. Do you know what? I never understood why you didn't sell out in the first place. Sorry, why? Yeah. Because he... he raped me. Peter. So not a business decision. What? The man took everything from me. He wanted my factory as well. Was I just about to give it to him? I thought we were going to have a life together. Yes, that's why I did it. And now that's all screwed up and all, isn't it? And that is my fault. How? How? No! Uh, what are you doing? Peter, you've had enough. I, I think I'll be the You're judge of that. You're an alcoholic! Yeah, and what are you, my mother? No. I want a no. drink. Get, Get off it! I want a drink! Peter, stop it! Well, look at the pair of you. Is this what you call love, then?
bad day. Yeah, so I heard. Listen, we don't have to explain ourselves Where's to you. Where's Simon? My dad's. And does he know you're drinking again? I'm not drinking. Peter, I've just caught the Perry. You're fighting over a bottle of scotch like two winos in the street. How low are you going to sink, eh? Hang on, you have no idea what's been going on. No, I didn't, but I think I do now. Listen, why don't you just get out and leave us alone? Oh, it's funny that. That's what I asked you all those months ago, but you didn't, did you? You wouldn't leave us alone. You kept pursuing him. And then you have a drink, get drunk, jump in a car and nearly kill my mother. Am I being paranoid or are you trying to ruin my life? Look, I didn't mean to, all right? I don't have to listen to this. Yeah, well, you should because the truth hurts, doesn't it? Leanne, stop. Please. Look, I am sorry, OK? I've messed up your life. I've messed up his. Look at me. I'm a car crash. I'm a one-woman disaster zone. Yeah, you said it. Carla, no. Well, you made your choice. Just look at you. I'm trying, OK? Yeah, well, I'm fed up of picking up the pieces every time you fall. I've got a new priority. You OK tomorrow? I don't care. You're a lost cause, Peter. I want Simon. What? Custody. You've already nearly killed him once. I'm not giving you another chance. No! You watch me. Do you think this is a safe environment to bring up a child? If you want what's best for him, you'll let him stay with me. If not, I'll see you in court. That's a good idea, yes. Sally, are you all right? I should have listened to you, Rita. It's evil. Carla was right. Look, why don't you come with us? You look as if you need a drink. No, I can't. I can't. I just want to clear me out. All right, love. Hey. Aren't you a lot a bit old to be hanging around on street corners? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just off to the bistro to celebrate my birthday. Is it a private party then, well, Norris, or can anybody join in? I say the more the merrier. Yeah? I'll tell you what, I could do with something to celebrate <laughs> tonight. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't stop. I've got a private party to go to. Norris! <laughs> Day to you. We. <laughs> Hey, another round on me, quick as you like. Yeah, no problem. Just another bottle of the Chardonnay, a sherry and a vodka and tonic, am I right? That's right. Ice and lemon. This is very kind of you. Are, are, are you sure you should be drinking? Yeah, he's Norris. He's my main man. He's a pillar of this community. Where would we be without him, eh? I agree, uh, absolutely. Mind you, he can be a snob, a busybody and a little gossip, but... Nobody's perfect, are they? Hey? Eh? Oi. <laughs> what are you doing? He's a recovering alcoholic. I didn't know. No one said anything. I'm sorry. Peter, you're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've had better days, to be honest. Let's tell you what happened today. That rapist Frank Foster conned the factory from Carla, a business that she built up with her own hands. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you what, that man, he's not human. Frank Foster doesn't deserve to breathe the same air as Carla. I've been drinking before. No, I'll tell you what, Has he? if I had a chance, I'll kill him. Stone dead, and I won't miss a wink of sleep. Sleep? That sounds like a good idea. How about you uh, go get an early night in? No, no, I'm serious. If ever a man deserved to die, it's Frank Foster, right? And I would cheer his coffin. I would dance on his grave. And I don't care who knows about it. <laughs> Get another round of drinks on me. I can't do that, sorry. I said fetch me a drink. It's not going to happen. You need to calm down. Hey, you don't know what I need. She seems 